Hi everyone. I am just in from the grocery store, did a little bit of shopping, had to pick up some green bananas so that I can make this mayo cup that we're going to be making. Even though I am not planning to film the mayo for a few days, but my bananas are turning yellow. So if we're going to use green bananas, I have to do something with them today. I'm going to show you how to make green banana mash from these green bananas. So just give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to put the groceries away and I'll be right back and we'll start making green banana mash. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the queen of the supermarket. <laughs> Welcome back to Comfort Food Farms the plant-based home cooking channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, I'm Kari Greger. Hey, how you doing? I'm glad you've joined us. Let's get into it. These bananas are starting to yellow on the edges, so I'm going to take those bananas off and separate them from the bunch. And the rest of them I am going to use for our green banana mash. We will use these three that I separated, let them ripen and use them as fresh fruit. Take your instant pot, put the rack in the bottom, put in two cups of water so the water comes up just below the rack, and then put the washed bananas separated into the instant pot. It's important that these go in washed because they will split open and we don't want the insides exposed. Just want them clean. Put the lid on the Instant Pot and make sure the valve is set to seal. Oh, banana. Programming your Instant Pot, we're going to use the steam function. So I push the steam function. This is going to be pressurized. You can adjust the pressure so that it is either low, medium, or high. We want high pressure. This is set for seven minutes. I'm going to take a couple minutes off and set it for five. So the plus and minus signs operate the time. <laughs> I just let it depressurize naturally after the timer goes off. And you can see, look, they're split. So it's a good thing to wash the bananas before you put them in. We're going to just let this cool for a few minutes so that it's easy to handle. Look at that, we've got our green bananas. Once it's cool enough to handle, we simply scoop the flesh out, split open the skin, and scoop out the flesh inside. The green banana flesh is quite dry, so don't be surprised. It's not like a sticky, sweet, ripened banana. The recipe calls for 100 grams, so I'm going to figure out exactly how much 100 grams of banana mash is for our mayonnaise recipe. I'm going to weigh it out on the scale, and then I'm mashing it down in the cup measurement, and we're going to check here. Let's see, how much have we got? Looks like it's about a third of a cup. Then I put it into a small plastic sandwich bag and seal it up. These little plastic bags are all now pre-measured for our mayonnaise recipe. This is how I do it. I put the sandwich bag into a coffee cup and that holds the shape of it so I don't get it all sticky on the outside trying to open the bag up when I've got something I'm measuring or pouring into it. Put that into the little plastic bag, pull that out of the coffee cup and we will seal it up. Six. So I will put these into a bigger bag for the freezer so that they're all contained. And now when I wanna make some mayonnaise, I just pull out one of these little bags. Make sure you label and date it. And that's how you make green banana mash. Stay tuned, watch the next episode, and I'll show you what to do with this fantastic stuff. It's just a great alternative to anything nut or bean or tofu related. We're gonna make some mayonnaise, so that's next time. Um, give me a thumbs up below and leave a comment. 
hit the bell so that you receive a notification when we do the next recipe and subscribe. Thank you for watching.